we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears Good morning everybody, it's Friday morning. I'm here with the babies. Somebody asked me why we call them the babies and it's because they are 359 days apart. So when the kids were really little, we had Ruthie who was in preschool. So we had Ruthie and we had the babies. So often the babies were together. They were either at school together or daycare together or, you know, at um, grandma's house together or something like that. So we've just always called them the babies. <laughs> and that's why they're still the babies. And they'll be my babies when they're 20 and 19 and 30 and 29 and all of those ages. We are just leaving the doctor's office. We just had our checkups. And what did the doctor say? Bleh. She said bleh. Yeah. She didn't. And the pediatrician says they're great. Everything's great. Healthy, you know, seven and eight year old. And now we think we're going to go meet daddy for a little brunch before we go back to school, which, you know, we probably should go back to school, but we don't get very many opportunities like this. So we're going to go have a little brunch. I did this with Ruthie a couple weeks ago and spent the day with her. So we said that we would do something special. Here we go. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right With you and I the future is bright oh, You and I we got it a hot minute since I talked with you last. I've actually been pretty busy today. I was trying to catch up on some channel work. I have, oh, I've had some videos that just have not come to fruition this week. In fact, I filmed and completely edited a Target $5 dinner video and I decided not to post it just because I was like, eh, I don't know if this is really great. I sometimes overthink things, I guess, over on that channel. And um, there's lots of videos that I have filmed that you guys never saw because I was just like, eh, I don't know if this is really my best work. And one of the reasons that I wanted to start this channel is because vlogging is something that doesn't take a lot of planning. You just pick up the camera and start filming. And it doesn't take me very long to edit vlogs. I'm not going to be as picky about how I'm editing things. I'm not going to be as like you know, picky about taking out every single um and every single pause and stuff like I am with my videos on my other channel. But I keep like starting to film vlogs and then I stop half the day through because either things get busy or I think, oh, this isn't interesting. Nobody's going to watch this. And honestly, I need to snap out of that mindset because the whole purpose of this channel is just to show you guys real life. And sometimes real life is average, ordinary, everyday stuff. Like me sitting here in my closet, going through the summer bin and pulling out all of the like shorts and t-shirts and stuff to put in the kids dressers because I believe we are finally past our like last really bad cold spell. It's May 1st tomorrow and um, I think we'll still have like some cool mornings like mornings when we might need a jacket or something but for the most part we can switch over to shorts and t-shirts and stuff. Um, my husband and I came home. He took part of the day off today because he has to officiate a wedding this weekend. So he's going to be out tonight and tomorrow night doing that. So he wanted some time at home. Anyway, he, he and I came home and I did kind of a little tidy up. I needed to refilm a video for my other channel. So I filmed one, I edited it, I didn't like it. I filmed another one yesterday and I just refilmed it today because I just didn't like the initial take that I got of it. I was rushed, I was in a hurry, I left things out. So I redid it today and I'm working on editing that one and I'm kind of pressed because I really need to get something up on my channel. I just fell behind this week. Did that and now I'm going through, I was putting some laundry away because I went to the thrift store and I purchased um, some more summer stuff for the kids. Ruthie wanted a jean skirt, a denim skirt, so I found one of those for her and she also needed a little sundress that she could wear to a family wedding to the rehearsal dinner for a family wedding that we are going to in a few weekends. I don't know about you guys but I am really not particular about summer clothes. In fact I try not to buy very much except maybe at the thrift store. I've already mentioned before that we get a lot of hand-me-downs. I did have to buy a few things for my 
my son, um, but some, but some things, well, and my oldest daughter, but some things I will buy on clearance, you know, the year before and put them away. But a lot of the stuff that we wear, I mean, my kids spend a lot of time outside and even when we are not at activities, I mean, gymnastics and swim and baseball will still be going on all summer long. But even when we're not there, my kids play outside, you know, they play with neighbors. Then one of our neighbors has a pool that they swim in. We play a lot in the backyard. I try to get them off of devices as much as I can in the summer. Not that we're 100% perfect on that, but I want clothes that I don't care about, you know, that I will not care if they get torn or stained or ripped or worn that are easy for them to put on and off that are easy just to throw in the wash and don't need any kind of special care instructions. So all that's to say, I don't spend a lot of money on it, but I'm going through and just getting stuff out. I mean, all of these things right here, these little shorts, my younger daughter lives in these and these were hand-me-downs. These were given to me by my older sister, my, my younger sister actually. And I think McKenna has worn these for at least two summers. This might be the third summer that these have been in the bin. They might've been <laughs> too big the first summer and it's not really even worth showing you guys. I mean, like these little shorts that Brick wore last summer. I think I got these on clearance at Gap two summers ago for like $7. So. <laughs> They're about to go through their third season. I definitely think we've gotten seven dollars worth of wear out of them, but I'm probably not buying anything new for anybody else because we just don't need it. It's summer, we're gonna get things dirty, we're gonna, you know, not be out and about going to fancy places. So I don't worry about it where the kids' clothes are concerned. What about you guys? The cutest picture I've ever taken of McKenna is in this little tank top here from last summer. So hopefully it still fits. Probably more as a shirt than as a tunic, but I remember that picture. Oh, it is so darling. Whoop! Good, that means you're throwing it harder. We got a new little, we got just a rebound thing so that Brick can play catch in the backyard basically with himself. <laughs> We've got to try to work on some accuracy here with his throws. So that's what he's working on. I'm about to take Kenna to, to gymnastics practice. Give me a good one. Put it right in the center, Brick. There you go. Oh, so close. Okay, I'm finally done with the rough edit of this video that I tried to throw together yesterday, refilmed today. I have the first edit done, so I have to go back through and like do some jump cuts and add some pictures and some b-roll and stuff like that to it some music intro outro it's not going to be you know as good as i probably would want i mean if you have a youtube channel don't don't take a page from my book um you really should try to get ahead of your filming schedule if you can or at least that's what i would prefer i would prefer to be editing videos now that are going up like seven to ten days from now so then i have even more time to kind of spend on them and you know tweak them before they go up, but I just got behind. Just life has been happening and um, we've been very busy per the usual and I just haven't been ahead of my filming schedule the way that I would want to. So hopefully that's gonna go up tomorrow and then hopefully this vlog will go up on the vlogging channel and then I do have a video that I'm, I have like an extreme emergency budget video that I'm kind of excited about. It's a little bit different from the ones that I normally do. Um, I had this idea come into my head for a budget video that is more like really, really super easy, extreme budget meals to throw together. It doesn't require a whole lot of scratch cooking. So um, hopefully that one will go up sometime next week as well. But I just filmed the intro for that and I'll be making the meals for that here over the next several days. But anyhow, <laughs> uh, YouTuber probs, you guys, I've just been, I haven't had, I wouldn't call it writer's block or whatever the equivalent is. I just haven't been like as motivated and haven't been executing my videos the way that I would like to. So hopefully I'll get over that real fast and put out some good content for you guys. Look at that mess back there. These counters right here in the back of my kitchen, they are a collect all. I mean, they're just like a dumping ground for various and sundry things. Although, I mean, that's my Bible there and my devotional. So I do read those every day from that spot, but I probably need to find a more permanent spot. Those are just a bunch of shoes that I just bought. I just dropped McKenna off at gymnastics and now I'm walking into Walmart. I feel like I live here sometimes. <laughs> Some of it that is just like occupational hazard when you have a YouTube channel where you do a lot with food. You have to go out and grab things um, every now and then. That's actually not why I'm heading in now. We decided that we were going to host 
Brooks baseball team and their families after this next tournament um, for a little backyard bash. So I'm just coming in to pick up like some drinks. That's not for a couple days, but I figure I will thank myself because I have learned if I have a minute to do something, I ought to do it because you never know what's gonna happen later on. So I'm gonna get that done. Okay, I just made up a little dinner. I've been doing my meals a little differently this week. Instead of planning a bunch of dinners, I just did a huge meal prep and I prepped like some taco meat and some shredded chicken and cooked up some rice and chopped up a bunch of veggies and lettuce for salads and then bought like some pita bread for pizzas and cheese and just stuff to go along with it. And I did this big meal prep and we've just been making meals from that all week because I thought this week was gonna be really busy. My husband has extra obligations, so did I. And then some of those like got canceled, like practices got rained out and swim practices got canceled and stuff. So um, it turns out I could have probably had a regular dinner plan, but we've been eating on this stuff all week long. So um, you'll see a video about that on my other channel, I think. Like I, I filmed, you know, like an easy weekly meal prep or something so that we could all throw together different meals all week long, depending on when we were home to eat. But I have about 30 minutes before we've got to leave for baseball practice tonight. And I'm just gonna sit outside here. It's a beautiful spring evening and I thought I would enjoy my dinner and do a little reading. What are you guys reading these days? Um, I just got a book. I actually just got a few books from Better World Books. If you have never heard of Better World Books, they are a secondhand, an online secondhand book retailer. And I really like that they do a lot for literacy efforts as well. They have, they do some philanthropy work in that line or in that vein. But I was in the bookstore with Ruthie a couple weeks ago whenever we had our little day together and she is a huge bookworm. I've mentioned this before, like she reads and reads and reads and reads. She really wanted to go to the bookstore. I bought her a book and I was looking around for something for myself to read. And I have to admit to you guys that when I have time to read, I really don't wanna read anything heavy. <laughs> I don't need to hit, read any hard hitting literature. I mean, I can appreciate the artistry of, of some stories and the like, you know, realism and the the um, value that literature brings, but sometimes I just want something light and funny, a good story, or just, um, you know, I, I, I read to escape. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want something that's going to make me really emotional or that's going to make me really sad. So I saw this book over in like the Christian fiction section. It was called The Bridge to Bell Island, and it got really good reviews. Um, I mean, a lot of the reviews I was reading of it, like on Goodreads and stuff, people enjoyed it. And it's Regency era drama. So it's kind of like, you know, I, I assume it's going to appeal to somebody who likes, you know, Jane Austen, Jane Eyre, North and South, like those kinds of stories as well. At the bookstore, I was shocked. I picked it up at Barnes and Noble. It was like $15 for a paperback. And I was like, nah, I'm not doing that. So I hopped onto Better World Books and they had it there. I think it was like six bucks or something like that. And then there were a couple of others that I decided I would go ahead and and pick up and then I ordered some for Ruthie as well. If you've never checked out Better World Books, I will leave them linked in the description box. I think I maybe have a referral code or something for that. Um, so I will leave that link down there. Go and check them out if you like books and you're like me and you wanna like have a book in your hand to read instead of reading it on a, on a tablet or something. And plus these are secondhand, so we're giving them a new life. But if you guys have any suggestions for me for, you know, just light reads that, I don't know how to explain it. Yes good story, maybe a happy ending. I like mysteries. I like I've read a couple of Agatha Christie's. I thought they were intriguing. So I guess that's not exactly light, but you know what I mean? Like I don't need to be reminded of, <laughs> of, um, anything that is upsetting that's happening. That's not to say that I like, am not aware of stuff that's going on in the world. It's just when I read, it's kind of like when I have a rare moment to watch TV or, you know, a show streaming or a movie or something like I want it to take me away from life. <laughs> I don't want it to remind me of all the bad stuff going on. That's just me.
Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. <laughs> it is about eight o'clock here and we are getting ready to go play some baseball again. <laughs> this is our third weekend in a row and then we get a little break, so. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Lean back and wait. Lean back, you got it. Is he happy? Oh yeah. All the good times just begun. 